Foul smelling water must be purified by taint. Only the water wheel and plowing stack can manage it. Even then only with the dragon's help. Alright. Look at this. It's a marvel. A wonder of monumental proportions. A phenomenal piece of unbelievable craftsmanship. Really, what does it do? I haven't the slightest idea. But it must be important, wouldn't you think? I mean, just look at it. These machines, they are manipulators, fabricators. They bully energy into... into something. They can be activated, deactivated, on and off, off and on, you, you see? Well, what is it? I... I can only come to one conclusion. Lord Lau's furnace. What? Kang, you are speaking nonsense. Lord Lau is a legend, an artificer of the celestial bureaucracy. His works are too fanciful to be real. Legendary, mythical, and overrated in some respects. But if anyone else has a better origin for such machines as this, I'm not hearing it. Um, but who is Lord Yao? Artificer to the celestial bureaucracy, he creates machines that themselves also create. Oh. Although I'd make them a little less delicate had I his resources. Still, he is an inspirational figure for inventors, and we are in his playhouse. You select the machines you want to activate, and then the tiger or the dragon button, like this. Please don't randomly hit switches, I find it unsettling. Don't worry, the individual machines are not activated. I think the switches must be thrown on at least two of the components before it will do well, whatever it does. You also have to select a fuel. It looks like there are a few pieces of cinnabar in the contraption, but it may accept others as well. Do you think it's wise to play with it? Well, judging by the pile of ashes I found near the controls, if you do it wrong, it either creates a nice warm fire, or burns the person standing here to a crisp. <laughs> All right. It looks like a powerful thing, so just guessing at the possible configurations will probably get you into trouble and waste the cinnabar in the machine. So, you might want to be careful how you go about it. Things like this usually have directions. Uh, no, recipes. No, that's not it. Um, a configuration. That's it. Configurations, there we go. Didn't we find a strange set of directions? Very true. Perhaps you should give them a try. They didn't mean much before, but now we may have the tools to make something of them. Alright. So, we do have those. The uh, We'll do the configuration of the ox. Basically, we use the cow bazaar. Gotta come up here. Fuel hopper contains some cinnamon ore, but there's a separate section. The configuration is like they need specialized fuels to make them effective. Lord, load a new fuel. Cow bazaar. How Lord Yao managed to predict the shape of a stone formed in a cow's goat, you'll never know, but a small round cup in the fuel hopper holds the bazaar securely. Okay, now. Now that we've done that, if you read the directions, you have to start up the water wheel. You have to do that with basically every single one of them. Okay. And then I believe you want to do the chimney. Is that here? Or is it the clapper chimney. Let's get that going. Wow, CO2 emissions. That's not good. Clapper, and then we probably want... Yeah, we're going to want the conductor. Oh, snap. This is pretty crazy. Yeah, so apparently we're in, like, another heaven. Like, this place has tons of heavens, and this is one of them, and this is, like, where we get to, like, cre create stuff. 
Then we do the cauldron. She's basically doing just insane stuff to make whatever this thing is going to make. Alright, and then it said, I believe, not the dragon, it said tiger. So we received the song of the spirit, and we lost configuration of the horse. Excellent! What an amazing machine! Now, if we can find more configurations, just imagine what we could do here. That'd be pretty awesome, man. I want to try that again. That same one? But why not try something different? It's up to you, of course. Okay, so we don't want to do the same one. However, that did give us techniques. Yes. Spirit plus five. Increase the spirit. Sweet. Now, what we want to do is talk to this guy. Ah, excellent. I have many items just waiting for you. The golden tongue. Nice. Oh, wait, what do I what do I have? I have the bronze tongue. Let's see what I have equipped. The bronze tongue. Okay, we're going to switch that out for the golden tongue. You know, I think I actually like this job better than my last. Okay, and then what I also want to buy is what's lightning gem. Oh, avoid traps. I don't really want to do that. I don't really care. Of ooh, tiger mantra. Oh, we're definitely going to buy that, because that gives us ho health and focus up. So the tiger relies on strength, so let's buy that. And then we're also going to buy a vial of sulfurous water. And then we're going to sell the bronze tongue. Oh, we have a couple of them. So we got a vial of sulfurous water. We also increased our techniques, because we got the tiger mantra. Which means our stats are going to increase... Plot items. The vial of sulfurous water is going to be for the configuration of the ox. Foul smelling water, that's going to be the sulfurous water. Then it's going to say water wheel, then the chimney, and then the dragon. Alright. Note from Princess Leon. Meet me in the pavilion at the entrance to the scholar's garden. Alright, will do. And let's also equip the golden tongue. Gives us a couple more stats increases, which are very helpful. Load a new fuel. This water. Let's see. Do I need to reset? Oh, I think it resets once you... See, now it's not going to show everything, which is really nice, because that would take forever if it did that short little light cutscene every single time. And let's... Set off the tiger butt. I think I have to wait for it to stop. There we go, it stopped. I want to get. Oh, there it is. Sweet, so we got the spirit of the master. Which would mean techniques. Spirit of the Master is increased magical damage. Sweet. I still don't understand how to use magical damage, but I'm going to learn. Let's talk to Kang. A most intriguing place. Yes, sir, it is. Um, where can I find configurations for this device? Well, given the rather fantastic nature of the furnace, I would bet that whoever has them doesn't really know what they are for. You found one previously in an unrelated endeavor. I'm afraid that is just the kind of continued uncertainty we will have to deal with. Keep your eyes open. Okay, cool. So I'm ready to leave this place. Very well. In the meantime, I will try to see if I can learn anything more about this interesting machine. I can always bring us back here later. Sounds good to me. Okay, now Don is the only person I need to talk Imperial to. Imperial City. I'd always heard how impressive it was. The stories didn't do it justice. This is all so much to absorb. I would appreciate your counsel if you have time to speak privately. 
I know many of you guys might be wondering, but I think I'm gonna actually. I normally romance Dawnstar. I think I'm gonna try and do uh, Silk Fox. I'm gonna try. So I have time to speak with you now, Dawnstar. What do you wish? I don't mean to distract you. I just wanted someone familiar around me for a moment, if only to reassure me that we are still in the Empire I thought I knew. I have long dreamed of reaching the Imperial City, but now that I have, under these circumstances, I am more overwhelmed than ever. I'm glad you're with me. We are a long way from home. But that's what is bothering me. We can't be a long way from home because our home is gone. I can no longer say that what I see is strange or foreign because I have lost what I would have compared it to. I am the one out of place now.